So for this week's Challenge Wednesday, we have our patient, Paul. And Paul is a 53-year-old male with a four-year history of ALS, amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, and recurrent respiratory infection. The patient presents with significant abdominal weakness and crackles that are heard during inspiration and expiration. Which of the following interventions would best facilitate the clearance of lung secretions? So we have A, high-frequency chest wall oscillation vest. B, patient education on the huffing technique. C, mechanical insufflation exufflation device. And D is manual percussion in the appropriate postural drainage position. All right, so we got a ton of answers tonight. Ton of people putting different things. So let's knock this down. So up at the top, we have Paul, 53-year-old male with a four-year history of ALS. Now, that's important to slow up real quick. You need to understand what ALS is. I, you need to be ready for it on the MPT. I'm I, Trust me here. Be ready for it. It's one of those conditions that can be very slippery as far as your ability to retain all the different information about it. But one thing I need you to remember is that this is a neurodegenerative. It's a progressive neurodegenerative condition that has both upper motor neuron and and lower motor neuron symptoms. Don't forget that. All right. Both of those. The question also says that the patient has recurrent respiratory infections. Well, I expect that as well out of this patient population. Reason being is that they start to have a lot of just widespread weakness, you know, throughout their legs and their arms and their chest and the respiratory muscles. And so they're not able to clear secretions as well. And we know that if we have a bunch of mucus just sitting all over the lungs, all inside the lungs, that is a, that's like Punta Cana for bacteria, baby. It's like Punta Cana straight sauna for bacteria. They just breed in that. They love that, right? So it's a breeding ground for infection. That's what I'm trying to say to you. Now, it says the patient presents with significant abdominal weakness. Again, I expect to see that. All right. And crackles that are heard during inspiration and expiration. So I'll slow up there just for a second. Crackles are typically present when a patient has fluid buildup. Sometimes we'll call that consolidation or mucus, but it could just be fluid buildup in the lung tissue. Now, I'm not talking about the pleural cavity. I'm talking about actually inside of the lung tissue. Now, the final statement or the final sentence of the question says, which of the following interventions would best facilitate the clearance of lung secretions? Now, one thing you have to know about pulmonary interventions is you got to understand which interventions are there to primarily like mobilize the mucus, like get it from one location to the next inside of the lungs. And then which interventions are there to do clearance, meaning to actually get the secretions out, to cough it up, to get it out of the body. So different interventions do different things, and you need to know which ones do which. That's the reason why I got a cheat sheet for you that's going to help you out with all that. Don't worry. I got you at the end. All right. So let's go through the answer choices again for those on the podcast. A, high-frequency chest wall oscillation vest. B, patient education on the huffing technique. C, mechanical insufflation, exufflation device. And D is manual percussion in the appropriate postural drainage position. Okay, so let's start off with A. It's a high-frequency chest wall oscillation vest. Hmm. First thing I'm starting to think about, first of all, is this vest. It's pretty cool. It's a vest that's attached to what we call an air pulse generator. It, it, it causes a lot of vibration of the trunk. Its major purpose is there to do what? What do you believe that's there to do? You should be saying, oh, Kyle, well, that is there to, to mobilize the secretions, get them moving, especially if the patient has this thing called mucus plugs. Mucus plugs. All right, it's t actually... This vest is specifically used for patients with cystic fibrosis. It could be used for ALS too, but it's primarily used for patients with cystic fibrosis. Now, I need to say something else. 
The question stem says, which of the following interventions would best facilitate the clearance, like to get the secretions out of the lungs, out of the body? Does the oscillation vest do that? Yes or no. Those are you were regardless of where you're at. Yes or no. Does it get the secretions out of the body? You should be saying no to that right now. And so that can't be my best answer. Yeah, it can mobilize it. Yeah, it can can start breaking up that mucus and getting it moving, but it's not there to clear it. All right, so let's look at B. B says patient education on the huffing technique. Hmm. All right, so if you're not familiar with huffing, this is a technique that we can teach our patient in order to assist them with coughing. But it's pretty independent. I mean, as soon as we educate them on the huffing technique, they do it. They're in charge of it. They get it done, right? It's not like we're actually assisting them other than educating. Now, this is going to be a still a forceful expiration that we're doing using the abdominals, but it's known as having like an open glottis. You know how you like bear down or, 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 or you, you actually try to cough and you know, you build up that pressure first. Well, huffing actually keeps the glottis open. So it's, I mean, it's probably not going to sound the best on a podcast or with y'all right now, but I have to do it. So it's more like a, (laughs) that type of deal. All right. Instead of actually coughing, it's not as forceful. Now, why am I saying all this to you? Why am I saying all this to you? Think about huffing and the muscles that are required for that. What is the primary muscle system involved in huffing, involved in forceful expiration? What is that? You should be saying, Kyle, it's abdominals. The patient has to have good abdominal strength in order to perform something like huffing. Well, it just so happens up in the question, you see it say the patient has not just abdominal weakness, significant abdominal weakness. So it's highly likely, even though huffing is a clearance technique, The patient's not able to do this. They don't have enough abdominal strength for that, all right? So I'm going to go ahead and put an X next to that. Again, it's not the best answer. Let's go down to C. C says mechanical insufflation, exufflation device. A lot of people select this, this, this answer. You may or may not have heard of this before. This is actually a really cool device. You can look it up on YouTube. It has a face mask, and, and it's a machine that pushes in air into the lungs, It's positive pressure, pushes all this air into the lungs, fills the lungs up with air, and then the machine flips to negative pressure. And it's like a sucking motion that pulls the air back out. So it's stimulating a cough. That's what mechanical insufflation, exufflation device is. It's also called a a cough assist device, cough assist device. All right. Now, who do I use this for? You tend to use this for patients who have some type of neurological issue going on, which my patient does. They have ALS. All right. You you tend to use it for a patient who has weak abdominals, who can't cough on their own. Bingo. I have that too. Significant abdominal weakness, it says. You also use it for someone who has lung secretions. All right, that they're having difficulty clearing. Bingo, crackles that are heard during inspiration and expiration. So right now, C is answering every part of this question. I love it. Doesn't mean it's the right answer. It does not mean that. It does mean that it's the best answer right now. Okay, so I'll put a check mark next to that. Let's look at D. D says manual percussion in the appropriate postural drainage position. So. For those of you unfamiliar with percussion, that is going to be the clapping that we're doing over a part of the lung field. We're doing that for what purpose, though? Why do we do percussion? What's the purpose of it? You should be saying, well, we do that, again, to mobilize the secretions. We're not really doing that to get the patient to cough it up. No, no, no. That's not what manual percussion is. It mobilizes secretions. And even putting them into the postural drainage position It's just mobilizing it. It's getting the mucus to go from one part of the lung tissue to the next, but it is not expelling the secretion. And so finally, again, in that statement called the question stem, it says, which of the following interventions is the best to facilitate the clearance of lung secretions? Not the mobilization of lung secretions, the clearance of that. Manual percussion is not the right answer here. It's not the best. All right. 
And so that leaves us with our best answer of C, mechanical insufflation exufflation device. For those of you who got this question correct, congratulations. This one isn't easy. I didn't know anything about mechanical insufflation exufflation in PT school. I don't think I ever heard of it. Um, it took some time to do some research and actually see it out in the clinic for me to get used to this. But I will say this. If you want to excel in the pulmonary intervention area of the MPTE, you need to have a good understanding of what all of these devices are what they do and how they help with things like lung secretions. Do they mobilize it? Do they help with the clearance? Like, what do they do? Because a lot of times in your question, they're guiding you to it. They're saying, I'm looking for a clearance technique. Which one is it? And you have to be able to pick it.